Thank you, Madam Chairman. Administrator Nolan, welcome. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, this past week, we have seen NORAB track numerous unidentified objects in the North American airspace. I serve on the Armed Services Committee as well, and I'm the ranking Republican on Strategic Forces, which has uh, oversight over our missile defense. So I'm interested in protocol, and uh, I visited with NORTHCOM and NORAD about that. Uh, but I would like to know if there is any process in place where civilian pilots that detect an unknown object while in flight, um, do, they, do they report the incident to FAA? Do you have any connection then with DOD on it? What are the protocols that you have? Well, thank you, Senator Fisher, for the question. Uh, I'll just relate it, you know, from my own time when I was an airline captain. Uh, yeah, there have been times in flying where you see a balloon, uh, and certainly, the, typically, as a pilot, you would report that to air traffic control. It, it means something they already know about, and in, to the extent that they're aware about. I've, there have been times when I've flown where it say, be advised that we have a high-altitude balloon, yeah, X distance, X place. So there, it, there are processes in place to report. Um, and then we have, a, a, as I mentioned earlier, an, an embedded team with NORAD. We have strong connections with the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, TSA, et cetera. So there is this whole government approach to protecting the homeland and protecting our skies. And do, as far as you know, those protocols are followed? The protocols for reporting? Uh, it depends, uh, you know, I'm going to say that's, that may be spotty, just, and I, I take that just from my own personal experience. You know, will everybody report that they saw a balloon? Uh, the answer to that is probably no. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. In uh, 2021, Inspector General report, it was cited that the FAA struggles to carry out its role to integrate new technologies and capabilities across various offices within the agency. Integrating new technologies and certification will be a priority as I work on the FAA reauthorization. How is FAA addressing concerns in the IG report in regards to the next gen office and integrating new technologies? I know you visited some with uh, Senator Moran about that and also next gen with Senator Thune, but could you address that specifically? Yes, ma'am. Uh I, I would push, firstly, I would push back against the notion uh, that the FAA is in any way wavering on our mission to make our airspace, which is the most complex in the world, uh, as efficient as we can, even as we embrace new entrants. We have already set in place processes to say, how do we enable new entrants? What is the regulatory framework they will need to operate? and then how we get them integrated into our, our airspace. Is We've, it going as quickly as you hope? It's, it is going with speed, and I think if you reach, so if you can reach out to a couple of the, the air, advanced air mobility companies, they will tell you they feel that we are on step. Uh, it is, this is fairly complex work, and we, what we have said and what we continue to say, technology can never trump safety, and this is one that the public expects, and rightfully so, that we get it right. So we are moving. I can tell you, though, categorically, we are moving with a strong sense of purpose to enable these new entrants in the market, and that's one of the things we're, we're truly passionate about. Will you commit to um, working with my office, keeping us informed on the integration of those technologies? Yes, ma'am. I'd be happy to continue to give it, provide updates. Yes. Thank you. Uh, the FAA has completed its preliminary investigation on the recent NOTAM malfunction. Will a more in-depth investigation and assessment be conducted, and will you share those findings with Congress? We do have, we will, we will certainly share as much as information as we're able to, but to your point, and I welcome the question. The investigation is ongoing. So a couple of things there. We are working our Office of IT and Technology. We are working with MITRE to assess all of these systems. Again, we're talking thousands. We're looking at levels of redundancy. What is our, you know, give us a sort of resiliency score, if you will. So that work is on the way. And we're thinking in terms from a safety management system perspective, what are the controls we have in place if they, did they work? 
what should have been done, what didn't happen, and what are the areas and opportunities for us improve? You got in depth on on looking at the controls and how quickly they were implemented? Yes, ma'am. Uh, you know, we've assigned that to uh, a couple of our offices, our Office of Safety Investigations, our Office of Security, to say, again, what happened in the moment. It is pretty dynamic. A lot of things happen that should have happened in terms of reporting, but we certainly look to say, how can we do this better to make sure we don't have a repeat? Thank you very yes. much. Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Senator Peters.